Hello and welcome to the video. This is a very quick video about these two new products that had just come out from Vifly. The first one is something called the Short Saver 2. Uh, this is an updated version of something that I already have and a new thing called the Vifly Store Safe. Now the Short Saver 2 is probably my favourite little smoke stopper device. It has XT60 on it, XT30 and you can choose between one or two amps. Now, big caveat with things like this is this isn't a replacement for doing proper visual checks and also using the multimeter on a resistance setting on the prongs of the power cable in your model to make sure that you haven't done anything silly and you haven't got a dead short waiting so when you plug it in, the magic smoke isn't gonna come out. But as an extra aid, belt and braces, these are very handy to have. The new one, though, has a couple of extra little twists up its sleeve. In terms of the specs, the specs are very similar. It'll also support the 1 and 2 amp cutoff. Again, it's got the XT30 and the XT60. It's only about 48 by 30 by 10 millimeters deep, and it'll cut off in about 3 milliseconds with a short circuit and about 50 milliseconds in overcurrent. And that's a lot quicker than using something like an automotive light bulb. And the input voltage is anywhere between two to six S. Now, the thing that I really like about this new version is the fact that on the back, they have written all of the important information. So when you're at the field and you can't remember what all the LEDs do, then it's all written there. Well done, Vifly for that. And we do need that because there's an extra little button on here because now the two buttons one is to again select whether or not you want a one or two amp cutoff when you're using it as a smoke stopper but the other button which i am very very happy about is an on off button for the output press it once it turns on press it again it turns off now why is that interesting well it does mean that rather than having to fight with xt60 connectors in the middle of something horrible going wrong you can just press the button and disconnect the power. But also it's very, very handy for things like setting up binding receivers and stuff where you have to apply power at a very specific point. You can just plug this into whatever it is in between the battery, and whatever you're plugging in, and then press that button to turn it on and off. So uh, this one is going to probably replace uh, the one that's on my bench. This is one of those pieces of test equipment that is in my little pot with things like a uh, five volt BC, my watts meter and all that kind of stuff. This lives on the bench. So I'm gonna uh, replace it with this one. This will probably go in the prize pile or get donated to somebody. Uh, but this is a really nice upgrade. This is definitely the one you want to get if you're looking at getting one of these from Vifly. The other things to talk about then are these little things. Now these are the Vifly store safe. These are the first versions of this. And what they are when you take them out of the packet are a little XT60 and XT30, there's both inside the packet, with a little heat sink and some electronics on the back. And what these do, these intelligently discharge a battery to a safe storage voltage. And it's using uh, some know-how on the little electronics, along with checking its own temperature, to do that as quickly as it can and still maintain a good safe temperature. And that's a really, really nice idea. Now, for me, I use something a little bit bigger. When I come back for the field, it sometimes happens. You don't always get to run all the batteries through. Uh, this is the Sky RC BD200. Um, it has an XT60 connector at the side, great big whacking fan. Um, you kind of plug your battery in, you set the discharge level and away you go. This is what I use to take all the packs down to a storage voltage before I put them down. And that is good practice. But I like these ideas of these two little things that you keep in your battery box that can do it for you. So maybe you bring them back and it isn't quite fully discharged. You can kind of plug them in. A couple of things on these, uh, the LEDs will show you what's going on and they'll light in different ways for 4S batteries, 3S batteries and 2S batteries. The discharging power is relatively low, however, it's only about 1 watt and its target voltage is 3.85 volts a cell. So they're rather small and cute 
Again, I wouldn't rely on these. These are a nice extra thing to have in case you need them. Uh, personally, I like to discharge and keep an eye on the individual cell voltages. Um, if they ever did another version of this, having some kind of additional monitoring for the individual cells to make sure that any uh, damaged cell with inside a pack isn't taken below uh, 3.6 or 3.5 volts a cell would be nice. But this is a cute little idea from Vifly and something to put in your battery box if you get to the end of a flight and your battery isn't quite down to storage voltage and you just need an easy way to kind of plug something like this in and let this sit there while you fly with your next pack. Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.